This is eyeshadow for dummies. If you're new to eyeshadow or you just can't seem to figure the fuck out how to do it, watch this video. We're gonna do a really pretty everyday eyeshadow look. Stat you off easy. I don't care who you are, I don't care where you're from, I don't care. You need an eyeshadow base. You need an eyeshadow base. You hear me? You need it. <laughs> now if you're a beginner, we're just getting sad at you. You can use concealer as an eyeshadow base. It's gonna work fine. I highly recommend using a P. Louise type base. Juvia's Place has one. Glamlight has one. How much base do you use? I am gonna take pretty much a pea-sized amount, okay? Pea-sized amount and apply that to each eye. You would use more than you probably think. Apply it to your eyelids. Make sure there's nothing on your eyelids. No foundation, no concealer. You want clean eyelids to put the base on top. Now, you can either blend this out with a brush and just smooth it over. I like to take a sponge and tap the base in. Now, what I will say is the reason I use a base that is lighter than the rest of my face is because it makes the shadows pop. That is a personal preference. But you're gonna wanna make sure that base is covering your entire eye area and we're not setting it. What does an eyeshadow base do? It pops your colors, it holds your pigment, it can prevent fallout, and it helps with longevity of the eyeshadow look. So eyeshadow base is on, it might crease a little bit in the process of applying your eyeshadow, don't worry about that. Now, eyeshadow, extremely personal preference. You can use whatever eyeshadow you want, whatever eyeshadow palette, you can use it. Are some eyeshadows higher quality than others? Yes, I'm gonna show you a very high quality option and it's up to you if you wanna do it. I just personally think these are perfect for the everyday makeup look. They're so high quality. They're from M Cosmetics. This is the Divine Skies Collection. This eyeshadow palette has every color you would need for an everyday, pretty, neutral eyeshadow look. And there's also a option for DACA complexions right here. So, eyeshadow brush collections I recommend. Peaches and Cream, Luna Beauty, P. Louise. In today's video, I'm going to use the Morphe by Ariel. Now, from this eyeshadow palette, this is shade Sculpt, and I'm going to use it to do exactly that. I am taking a medium blending brush. How do you know this is medium? Because, well, this is fucking large. So, <laughs> taking this pigment on my brush, I'm just going to start tapping it into the crease. You can messily tap it. If you do not have a crease because you have hooded eyes, you need to create your own crease. Once you have laid down that color, you are going to start doing these very small very fast circular motions to smooth edges. If you want to keep learning with me, go to Pat 2.